Do you stand up and defend the gospel? In Isaiah 31, the Israelites sought defense from Egypt instead of turning to God. In contrast, Paul, in Philippians 1, placed his full trust in God, boldly defending the gospel with both his words and his life. What about you? Are your words and actions truly standing up for your faith? Every conversation presents an opportunity to share the hope you have in Christ Jesus. Just as Paul remained steadfast, even in chains, you too should stand firm and use your freedom to defend the faith, not just with words, but through your deeds and actions. Today's employment point, rely upon God and defend the gospel by your words and actions. During the month of October, we experience fall. Please make sure you don't fall away from your daily devotions. I would be honored if you would like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you.